Okay. <coughs> and pardon me. I apologize. Sometimes when I sneeze, it's more than one. So I'm going to try to not continually sneeze. Let me just straighten that a little bit. Okay. So I have a blender brush. I have evening evergreen, soft succulent. Let me make sure because I did use this the other day without cleaning it. Make sure it's for the most part clean. There we go. That looks good. Let me, I'm going to move my drink because I don't need that anymore. I did use some purple tape to tape this down. So that just kind of depends on, I guess, oh, pardon me. I'm sorry. I must have stirred a little pocket of pollen in this room somewhere. Okay. And grab this. Put that over here. I'm going to keep these here as well. Okay, so we're going to do our base first. I just want to move this. That way I can watch comments in case you guys have them. And I do have a couple pieces. Let's see. Actually... We can use one of these and then we'll use another one. So very simple cards. I have thick white. I'm just gonna use this for both. This will just be the extra piece. And this is probably basic white because it's a little whiter. So I'm gonna trim this down to four by five and a quarter. And we'll just keep that for scraps. And then that will be one. And then the other one we're going to just go directly onto the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and score it at four and a quarter. And then cut at five and a half. Okay, this should be relatively simple. So one is going to go on here, and then the other one's just going to be, it is thick white, so it's going to be a thicker base, so it's going to go there. Uh, my only other thing, you know what, I'm going to just use this other little extra piece that I have here. And I have some dimensionals kind of just in case. So I'm going to do the regular piece first. So what I have is just a scrap piece of um, actually grid paper to the other side. So I'm going to take and I'm going to just fold this up just for a second just so it doesn't move. Put that there. Put this on top. And the nicest part is since this is bigger than the paper that we're using we don't have to worry about like my other one that kind of had to keep readjusting so I'm just picking a spot and taping it down okay I'm going to start with soft succulent and I'm going to use the same blending brush because I'm going from dark light green to dark green so I'm going to just start just make sure this is centered and just going the whole thing. I'm actually going to take this tape off just for a second. I just wanted to make sure I was not having a line because the other one I did, I had a little bit of a line. So lighter, and I'm doing it underneath as well. Kind of give like that ombre or a gradient ink look. This is a super, super simple technique. All right, so there's one. Just want to make sure that I get all of the corners. All right, there's one. And then Evening Evergreen. And this one, I want to make it a little bit heavier. So I want to make sure this has a nice dark pigment hue. Doesn't necessarily need to be identical across the center, but because even if it has a little gradient spots, so you can see for this one piece here, it's a little bit darker down here, but that's okay. So I'm going to move this off for a moment just so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see what that piece looks like. I do have that little piece of tape. So there's one. Okay. 
And then I'm going to, and I'm actually going to fold this just to ensure I don't get it on that side. So I'm going to move this just for a moment. And I'm going to fold and burnish with my bone folder. Okay. And same thing. I'm just going to put this little piece of tape just to hold. So this is my whole card base. So this one's going to be a whole card. And I'm going to just try to be careful to kind of line it up in the same spot. But once I put it down to just own where I put it so I don't get any smudgy, weird spaces. Okay. That and that. And what I'm going to do just to get the lighter part is I'm actually going to, without inking this, I'm going to start on the lighter end. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Okay, so now this is, I'm pretty sure this is clear because there's pretty much no ink coming off. Now I'm going to go back to the soft succulent. So I was just trying to use up that darker ink before I went into a lighter ink. So same thing again. And you could do this with other ink colors, but I, I think kind of the, the flowery pattern, it really lends nicely to using these particular colors. But this will be a great card for... Um, thinking of you, a sympathy card, because it's not really floral that is kind of in your face floral, if that makes sense. I know that sounds a little random, but all right. So there's the soft succulent. So I'm going to close this up. I don't, I'm going to use the evening evergreen, I think for the sentiment anyway. So I don't need that one any longer. So now we'll go to evening evergreen and same thing. Just kind of find a center place. You can go either way. It depends. I mean, I normally go this way, I guess, because I'm right-handed, but either way looks good. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more down here at the bottom. And then just kind of feather it out a little bit. I think that looks good. Let me just pick it up and we'll take a peek. Super awesome. Okay. Okay. So I am going to keep this out because I'm going to need this. I'm going to just take this and I should actually take this downstairs and clean it because this will be now the second time I've used it. But there is our other card. And again, this one just has the base. So that's the base. The other one we were going to do as a layer. So you can see they, they will never look the same, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to sit these over here. Let me throw this away. Now, what I wanted to do was grab, which one was it? Here it is. I'm going to grab this just for the one sentiment. I'm going to tell you what I was thinking of doing for the other one just to kind of fill you in. So I have an idea of, um, and I think this would be a really good idea if Stampin' Up! wants to jump on board with this. would be smart for me anyway, but a little bit too late now. Is a sentiment about teachers planting the seeds. I don't know. Something about that. I, I like that kind of a sentiment. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to go with my outside corner and grab my stamp set. Is it this one? Yep. All right. So I'm going to grab, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. I'm going to grab this stamp set. So this one's fresh out of the package. So I do have to peel this little back off of it. And then I will die cut this once we're finished. So I'm going to just take this and kind of place it approximately centered where I think I want it. I didn't even put the sticker on it yet. So we'll go with that. Then I'm going to take my evening evergreen because I don't want anything too, too dark. And I'm going to just ink this up. Nice part about this is since you're inking it up, if you miss any spot, you can always go back and re-ink it. Okay, so I'm going to press. Okay. Well, that looked really good for the first one. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm done with that. I'm going to close this up. And just to get the ink off, I'm going to move this to the side. And then I will clean this off later. 
Now, what I'm gonna do is take my stamped image and I'm gonna take, I need to pop, I was gonna say pop that heart out. And what I try to do is kind of line this up with the, the stars, so the shape, mine is a teeny bit warped. So the heart and the star down here at the bottom, making sure it looks pretty well lined up. And then I'm gonna just use a little, a couple pieces of purple tape. Let me grab one more piece. You could use post-it notes or washi tape. All right, and then I wanna run this through my die cut machine. Now I probably didn't have to do that because I do have my magnetic plate on my big shot, but we're gonna go like that. Oh yeah, that looks really good actually. I'm gonna move this one because I don't know if I need it. Oh, well this one even down here at the bottom. Thank you for being my friend. That kind of reminds me of the Golden Girls. <laughs> Anybody else a big Golden Girls fan? Does make a lot of noise because it has a lot of die cuts when it goes through, but love the Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for putting up with me. That's what my card would say. Thanks for putting up with my sorry self sometimes. Okay. And I'm just going to press these out. It'll come out pretty simply. Let's make sure. This one's cute. World needs more people like you. Oh, that's a good one for the teacher. Maybe we could do that one. There are no words. So you also have these other little, honestly, but I very rarely use these. Now, one other thing to note. You have this little dye thing. You could even use this as a mask if you wanted to, and then you could kind of go over it with a color. So this might be something you want to save. I did do a video on that before, just FYI. And then the other thing I do, I'm going to use that one, and thank you for being my friend. I'll use those two. And then the other thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you because I did this previously. By the way, in case you missed it, the retirement or non carryover list came over today for came out today for the uh, mini, the spring mini. So I'm just going to put these in here. So I have all different colors of die cut stuff. If I need a sentiment really quickly, now I know I have green, I have black, I have red, I have Pacific Point. So I just put these in here. So they're just sealed up like that. And then I just put them in here. Now it does make this bow a little bit because I do have quite a lot of them, but I just have them in there. That way I know where they are in case I need some. So just a little tip for you there. But that list did come out today. So I'm sure some things are going to sell out. I'm always sad when things retire, but what are you going to do? That's the way it is. So I have both of these. Now the only other thing I did, skip, we need something added to this. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to stick with my other one that I already cut. So we have this little one here, this one. We could also do this and just add our own pot. So we could cut one of these pots out, or you could even die cut one of these pots with the dies. This would be kind of cute like that. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do. And I'm going to die cut one more little actually as a matter of fact see this one is the one that matches that i think so you could take your dye cut this out you have that plant i feel like this one cut something but i guess i must just not have the correct whatever it may be but you could also use this if you wanted to make it easier to die cut your pot i did already order a second pack of this paper so we could totally totally do that I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one die cut like I did before. And then one, maybe we'll do the pieces instead just to make it a little bit, a little bit easier. And slide that over. Okay. So I'm going to do I'm going to be a little cheapy weepy here. I'm going to use this one that's partial die cut and what I'm going to do is just trim this flower off to make it look a little nicer then I'm going to do this one down here at the bottom same thing I'm just going to tape it so I'm going to run these two through and then we're going to do this but we have one more little thing to do so 
if I can fit both of these on. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna crank these through. And I'm sure some of you saw, I did use my stitched shapes for that other card that I created and I really like it. So I think I'm gonna do that again. So I love that. I'm really sad that it retired. And let's see, I'm gonna use the largest stitched oval and I'm gonna cut out two of the same color. I did go with dark only because I kind of thought it would need a nice contrast. So I'm gonna grab, just have this other piece here of evening evergreen. I'm just gonna cut two more of the same pieces out. So you, if you don't happen, if you weren't lucky enough to get the stitch shapes, you could use a large layering oval. So I'm just gonna cut two more of these out. So I have two of those. Put this back. Man, I have got to. I have to straighten this craft room when we're done today. Holy moly. So that was one. And then the other one I said I was going to die cut. So I'm going to show you just how simply this is. So even though this one was cut, what I'm going to do is just kind of trim it. So what I did was I trimmed off that hard edge. And you can't even tell now that that little piece is there. If you wanted to, you could even kind of trim a little bit of this so it kind of blends a little bit better. Look at that though. Wouldn't even know unless you saw me make the card. So I think I'm gonna do this one just because it's right here. And I'm gonna show you, I didn't cut the whole thing out. I kind of just stayed as close as I could. So I'll show you what I did. You could even use the top of this one and then just cut out a pot. To kind of go with it so i'll show you what i did for this one and then all we have to do is put these babies together so i did try to stay a little bit close for the pot portion i'm gonna cut right next to the handles and i kind of went in as close as i could without nipping anything important off so i kind of just follow just like so Again, if fussy cutting isn't your thing, you could totally stamp this or even you could even die cut this in a uh, smaller oval and then just layer the two ovals together. It just kind of depends on your preference of cutting. Get a little bit closer here for the pot. And I want to get and just trim this a little bit because I don't like the way I did it. There we go. Okay, so there's that. We have our sentiments. Let me clear this. So I'm going to just move this out of the way. Put that into my recycle pile. Okay, so we have the pot and an oval. And we have our layer and die cut. Which one do we like? I think I might do this one for the bigger one. All right, so all we're going to do now is just assemble this. You fold this. You see all those colorful flowers when we made those uh, color and contour bundle last week. That was super fun. Love that one. I don't even have the dies, even though I do actually need to order them, so I will. All right, so put a little bit of liquid glue here. Make sure I have it open correctly. Yep, and I'm just going to center this. So just like so. Now I am going to put this on dimensionals because it needs a little something. So I'm going to put, let's see, three on here. And then I think I might even pop the oval up. Now I'm going to leave this one flat, but I am going to pop up the sentiment. A little loose hair there. Okay. And this one says, 
Thank you for being my friend. We could put it here, there, across the middle. I think I like it off, but I'm gonna pick it up. So I'm gonna cut a little line here. Yep, a little bit of glue here. And pull this back off. Boy, the birds are happy here today. All right, so there's one. One, super easy, right? And our second one will even be easier. Now this one, I'm definitely gonna pop both things up. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of these. And I might have to do a little nipping to get a small one for this little piece down here. Yep. Uh, what do we have here? Just kind of piecing these together. Yesterday was my dad's birthday. He turned 71. So he is in Western Maryland. So I will see him hopefully by the end of the week. I'm going to pop this. He was going to come home originally yesterday and then he decided he wanted to see spring out there. So he's staying a little bit longer. So I'm just going to put this here. And put this little leaf conglomeration. I want to take a look at this and see how I like it. If it should be in the pot. Yeah, I'm going to put it in. So just like that. I have a teeny bit of my dimensional showing, but that's okay. And then I am going to put dimensionals on the back because I feel like it needs just a little something. One in the middle. And then we'll add our sentiment for this as well. But I could totally see you could do this with lots, obviously lots of other masks but I think this is really a great idea for a just a fast card. And let's see where this goes. Whoops. It wasn't quite straight as I wanted it. That looks better. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to slip, snip a little. I'm going to go to the, this side, a little line here. And that one's a little bit longer of a sentiment. So I'm going to see if this one fits try to go to the end. Oops, probably should have snipped this a little bit short. I'm going to put this little teeny piece over here. Okay, and then I'm just going to put some glue in the center. Just so it stays put where I have it. There we go. Oh my goodness, how adorable are these? And they were really, 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 really easy. I mean, honestly, they really were quite simple. I'm going to just give me one second because I want to just throw these little things in the trash so they're not everywhere because otherwise I'll be carrying them with me through the house the rest of the day. And then I'm going to zip this off just so you can see these a little bit nicer. We're going to flip that over so you can, aside from my tear, let's turn it down this way. So there you go. In case you need to get anything that host code is still valid but super adorable depends on what level of complicated you want to make it if you want to add something to it remember this one we did with dies so we just cut out two little pieces of the dsp and then this one i just fussy cut from dsp so this one was one that we fussy cut here so i'd have to put get rid of these but we still have a couple other things which i could use this for little pieces of strips so if you wanted to you could cut like a little strip and put it on the inside just put a little strip of something or you could even use the other side if you wanted to depending so i definitely could salvage this for some piece of a card but i think it's a really fun idea and i'm gonna have to find where i actually have these stamps now that i know i have i know i have the die so I and I bought the lattice so I must have bought the stamps I guess I just didn't realize it but I'll, Kate in case you didn't miss it the sentiments came from many happenings and we just stamped a bunch of them cut them out and then we did that with the die this die also goes with many messages so this is a great 
duo if you want to get your hands on those. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, we did two different levels. This one was just stamped directly on the card, so super easy. We used two inks. We used a mask, a little bit of die cutting. This was the stitched shapes that are retired, which are my favorite and I'm still going to use. And then this one, we just add a little something by putting it onto another level. I hope you guys like these cards because again, honestly, and I say this really from the bottom of my heart, they were really simple. This was like a really easy card to just, if you need one that's fast. And the nicest part is if you have a bunch of these sentiments done, all you have to do is just pull them out, find one that matches the color, or you could put them on there, die cut a bunch of them and save them for another time if you needed it. This also does have a lot of other die cut images that you can cut out or you can just cut them out a different way if you wanted to fussy cut them just kind of depends on what you want to do we also have all these other little nice pots so they're really really cute a super beautiful i mean i love a lot of this paper is really really pretty i think this one would make another really easy card you could just add a sentiment to this is another dsp and there's another one of our pieces with the pots and i love this one anything that has those beautiful palm leaves is always okay in my book. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something new or found something interesting that maybe you were unaware of in the catalog. Remember the spring catalog did start the retirement sale list today. Uh, we do have lots of wonderful promotions going on. Uh, as always, you can still, if you have a huge wish list, you can join my team, the Rainbow Stampers, as a Dampin' Up! demonstrator, which could just be a happy shopper. There is no obligation to do videos or hold parties or anything else like that. That still qualifies for $125 worth of anything. For $99, it does ship for free. We have lots of different people on our team. Some people just shop for the discount. Some people make videos as well. Just depends on what you're here for, but I will support you no matter what. Thank you guys very much for joining me. If you'd like to get any of these supplies and more, you can go to my online store 24-7, reachthestamper.stampinup.net. If you have any questions about this or any of the other products or projects that I've shared, you can contact me at reachthestamper at gmail.com. And you will be able to see this blog later on. My blog is reachthestamper.com. I do post the photos and I do try to put all of the supplies used, measurements, etc., all that kind of stuff. So you could make the card yourself in case you maybe came in late or missed it. But these are pretty standard. This one was just a regular half sheet of card stock, scored, folded. This one I actually used a regular half sheet and then I used a four by five and a quarter layer on top and then just used the largest stitched layering oval. So it was super, super simple. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Thanks so much for watching.